Hello, apa kabar? Yeah, you've guessed it, right? And probably from the title of this video, today we're going to talk about nine reasons to learn Indonesian. But I'm not exactly alone, although I am right now. Recently, I caught up with Fiel, who you may remember from my Indonesian update videos, to share with me nine reasons to learn Indonesian. So, you'll see him a little bit in this video. If you want to learn more about Fiel, you can check out his blog, Between Three Worlds, a link in the description below. Hello, apa Hello. kabar? Apa kabar? Baik, apa kabar semua? Someone who speaks Indonesian! Ah. Reason number <laughs> satu! Indonesians are really easy to impress. Even if you know just one word or one little phrase, Indonesians will think you speak Indonesian already. Uh, apa kabar? Aduh, guys, guys, dengerin si Lindsay udah pinter bahasa Indonesianya lo. Seriously though, this is a really great reason because sometimes all you need when you're learning a language is just a little bit of motivation and if you can say hello, how are you, and people are going wow, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, everyone come and gather out, then yep. that's, that's what you need, that's gonna make you feel good, right? Yep. Reason number dua. Indonesia is a huge country. Not only does this make for an incredibly diverse range of cultures and peoples and traditions, but also some amazing food and drink. Fio can tell us more about this. So, Indonesia is a huge archipelago, the largest in the world, with 17,000 plus islands. And it spans the length of more or less the continental United States. And we have amazing food and drink. Let me, let me see what I face. So, nasi goreng, mm -hmm. mei goreng, ayam goreng, mm -hmm. ikan goreng, uh -huh. everything goreng. Yeah. <laughs> and amazing jazzy drinks. And amazing jazzy icy desserts with lots of syrup. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when Lindsay was just saying goreng, 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 well, goreng is, is fried. So nasi goreng is fried rice, mi goreng is fried noodles. So Muslims are traditionally not supposed to be drinking. And because that is the case, Indonesians have gone very creative instead with their drinks and created a whole bunch of fruit drinks, which Lindsay has said are jazzy. So things like es cendol, es campur, es teler. Reason number tiga. Indonesians are always laughing and they're pretty funny. Just recently, I followed a few funny Facebook pages in Indonesian and not only are they helping me to learn the language and get words here and there, but they're also helping me to understand a little bit about the humor. Indonesians are always joking. We're a very humorous people and anything can be funny in Indonesian. In addition to that, we have a lot of words that don't exist in English or many other languages to describe funny things like when you really need to go to the bathroom, and you just can't hold it anymore. It's called kebelep. Get out of the bathroom, you wash your hands, and you go say hi to your friend, you wipe all the water on their shirt. That's called meper. That last one, that is a very specific <laughs> description. Reason number empat. Indonesia is home to some amazing wildlife. We're talking orangutans, we're talking elephants, we're talking Komodo dragon. Hello. In Indonesia, we have a huge biodiversity spanning from Sumatra all the way to Papua, which includes things that are nearly extinct or endangered, such as orangutans, rhinos, elephants that are subspecies or specific species, proboscis monkeys, the refugia flower. Reason number Lima. Indonesia is also home to some of the world's best surfing and snorkeling. Personally, I went to Indonesia in 2011 and surfed for the first time at Batu Karas. It was pretty good. The guy said if I didn't stand up, I wouldn't have to pay. Well, I stood up five times, so, you know, basically a pro surfer. But that's beside the point. The point is that this happened in Indonesia. Imagine if I'd been able to speak in Indonesian with that guy that sold me the board for the day. That would have been so good. I could have had the board for two days. Who knows? Reason number enam. We've mentioned just how big the country is and how diverse this makes the food and drink, but this also means there's a pretty cool range of cultural places that you can visit. Indonesia is also an amazing tourist destination with places that are world-renowned such as Bali or Yogyakarta, Hindu and Buddhist temples all over. Reason number two. This is a reason for language lovers. Indonesian is a variant of Malay. We'll talk to Fiel about this in more detail in a minute. So this means you're potentially getting a bit of a two-for-one if that's what you're into. Indonesians will say that Indonesian originated from the islands in Indonesia called Riau. Mm -hmm. and then spread from there. But regardless of where your political uh, affiliations stand, Indonesian as a language itself was already used as the trade language. It was the lingua franca, so to speak. Reason number, Delapan. You may have already heard, but Indonesian is often considered one of the easiest languages to learn. Why? Hmm, Fiel can explain. 
In the polyglot community and language learners in general, Indonesian is one of the new trend languages that is arising. And the reason is, unlike European languages, we do not have one, conjugations, two, we do not have verb tenses, and three, we don't have articles. Yes! With number sembilan. Indonesians are everywhere. Here, yeah. here. So not only are we the world's fourth most populous nation on earth, but we are all over the internet. This is true. As soon as I started learning Indonesian and I was on Hello Talk, I was looking around like, duh, 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 duh. okay, yeah, learning Indonesian, changed my language. A day later, I went on, I had like 15 requests from people saying <laughs> hi in Indonesian. I was like, whoa, okay, I guess I've got people to speak to now. <laughs> Thank you, Fiel, for helping and as I mentioned earlier, you can check out his blog down in the description below. And if you're ready to learn Indonesian, why? Let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for regular language learning videos. I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye. Dada.